everyone welcome back to my youtube channel and if you are new here then i'm so happy to meet you as you can probably tell we are going for ultimate cozy vibes today i just it was raining outside i just really felt like being really cozy and comfy so i've got my comfy clothes on i'm on my bed i've got my throw i've got my coffee i've got my candles on i'm just feeling very happy about this setup so if you haven't already pause the video pop the kettle on, light some candles, get under a blanket, throw your PJs on. To be fair, it's Sunday morning, so I'm hoping you are already in your PJs having a nice relaxing Sunday morning. And I was actually thinking about this. This is my first ever Zara haul. Like, I've never done a Zara haul on my channel before, and that's crazy because I do love a bit of Zara, although... I really hate the website like that website is a madness it's a maze I actually got quite a lot of stuff which I'm really excited to show you guys today I haven't actually properly looked in this box and I've had it for about a week so that's really really good for me I have had a little sneak peek but I haven't tried anything on so today is going to be like a first time trying on See, though, that website is crazy like the models poses are insanity let me give you an example Sarah was modeling this top this is how the models pose and it's like, hun, can't see the top. So this is like a surprise order, really. I don't actually know what I've ordered because I couldn't actually really see what they even looked like on the model. So before I jump into the haul, I just wanted to mention on my last Primark haul, which I posted last week, I've had loads of questions recently about my hair extensions. So I just thought I would leave a link for them in the description box below, just in case you are wondering. I actually get asked about my hair all the time funnily enough some of you guys actually think it's my own i wish it was my own but these are actually my favorite extensions they are the foxy locks luxurious 24 inch hair extensions they're clip-ins i've never had like permanent hair extensions i just love clip-ins because i love being able to take them out i love being able to kind of like put them in different places in my hair like if you want to have your hair up and have no kind of like extensions on show it's so much easier to achieve that with clip-in hair extensions I have had these for almost a year now actually and they are still in absolutely perfect condition as you can see they're super thick they're really long they're just really beautiful hair extensions and I have tried so many in my life like I've been a hair extension addict since I was literally like 16 so I've tried a lot and these are by far the absolute best hair extensions that I've ever used so I get mine in shade platinum blonde and I do actually tone mine so I just get a little bit of purple shampoo in a bowl of water and I kind of just like dip them in and brush them through for a few minutes until they turn a little bit more silvery um, and that's how I get them ashy but I'm going to leave a direct link to these in the description box below a code which is FOXYGEMMA M which will get you a little free gift at the checkout but I get so many DMs from you guys on Instagram saying that you've bought these extensions and you love them Foxy Locks also have amazing clip-in ponytails, which I literally lived in in the summer. Like, oh my god, the easiest hairstyle ever. But yeah, have a browse on their website, see what you like. But if you are kind of like looking to invest in some hair extensions, these are definitely the ones to get. Right, enough rambling from me. It wouldn't be a Gemma Louise Miles video if I didn't ramble for at least five minutes of the video. Um... I remember one video I, I was like right I'm not gonna ramble anymore I'm gonna get straight into it and I was like boom 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 and you all hated the video like you literally were like Gemma we like you rambling and I mean that means a lot because I don't even like me rambling so thank you and welcome to the ramble channel here's Gemma just trying to act like she hasn't actually been in the parcel before Ooh. I'm gonna start with one of my favorite purchases from the Sarah haul which is beautiful slide on loafers I have been looking for some of these for the longest time. I think they kind of look like the Gucci ones. I mean, for a fraction of the price as well. Now, these were a little bit pricey. They were $49.99, which is quite a lot of money to spend on a pair of shoes, especially a pair of shoes that I'm not entirely sure how much wear I'm going to get out of. I think because I've been looking for some for so long, when I saw them, I was like, need them, need them. To be honest though, didn't actually know what they were going to look like in life because the woman who was modelling them was wearing a flared jean. I was like, hun, can you lift those jeans up please so I can actually see the shoe? I just want to show you these close up. So they are leather, they're cream, they've got this detail in here which I think is very like the Gucci style ones. They're slip on. I think these would look so gorgeous with like a nice 
just an autumnal outfit hun. I promise I'm not going to say that with every single item of clothing. One of those days where you don't want to wear heels but you still want to look like dressy. These are perfect, I think, with maybe like a nice oversized blazer, a black outfit, even with like a nice dress, a leather jacket, these will look just so classy and lovely. So I am actually really, really happy with these. The quality of these is also unreal. So of course, next I picked up a new jumper. I have got a bit of a thing about cream and white jumpers. I just love them. I think they're such a staple. So I got this, it's quite a plain jumper. It's high neck, it's so fluffy, but I'm a little bit concerned that it's gonna be itchy. I don't know why, it just feels like it might be that material that's a little bit itchy. So I'm hoping that it isn't, but if it is, I feel like you could just wear a top underneath. So as far as I can remember, they had this in a few different colours. It was $29.99, which I think is a really, really nice price. I think they actually had this in like a sage green colour, which was really, really pretty. And they also had it in black. Now, Zara is at that transitional sort of stage at the moment. There wasn't too much knitwear. So I'll probably do another Zara haul as the months get a little bit colder, like mid-October, I feel like they're gonna have their full autumn winter collection in. Absolute staple. It's perfect for those days you just wanna be cozy and comfy. You don't want anything clingy. I think this will look so nice with a pair of black jeans. I think it will look nice with a pair of blue jeans or if the weather's still a little bit warm, you could definitely wear this with a nice pair of denim shorts. I think that would look so nice. I'm not going to say it. I'm not going to say favourite jumper ever because I say that to every single jumper I ever try on and it gets kind of boring, I am aware. I love this jumper. Now, I'm not going to lie, it is a little bit of that itchy material, but I feel like if you were to wear like maybe like a little white top or something underneath, then that would solve that issue straight away. It's not like ridiculously itchy, but it's not... It's not like really soft if you know what I mean, but I love the fit of this. I got this in a large, so again, it was oversized. I actually just tried this on with some little leather shorts because I feel like with the weather being how it is right now, I love like a jumper, shorts and boots kind of combo. I think that can look really, really, really cute. And again, you're not gonna get too hot because you've got your legs out. I really love this jumper and for 30 pounds, I think it's a really good price, but it's not the best material. Like it is quite itchy, so. I don't really know. I feel like there's going to be a lot of white jumpers floating about this time of year. And I feel like if you're going to get one, I kind of would invest in one that's a little bit like softer, a little bit more snuggly. This is funny because it's genuinely like a lucky dip. Like I, I can't remember what I ordered and I didn't even know what it looked like at the time. So this is literally like a surprise order. I, of course, right, of course I ordered this item of clothing because does anyone else do this? I want like the perfect blazer. Like I'm very picky with blazers. I like them to be oversized as hell. Like I want them to literally drown me. I want the shoulder pads to be like out here. And I want it to be long enough. I want it to be the right material. If it's tight on my arms, it's an absolute no go. Like I hate arm hugging blazers. So I'm always on the hunt to look for like my perfect blazer. But then I kind of have to remind myself that perfect doesn't exist Gemma. So, I don't know, but I'm still on the hunt. So, I thought I would give one of Zara's basic blazers a try. I had one of the more expensive blazers in my basket that was about £85, and I was a bit like, oh, Jesus, don't really want to spend £85 on a blazer, but, you know, it could be my dream blazer. Um, and then I saw this one, and it was £29.99, and I thought, do you know what? give one of the basic ones a go so i got it in a size 16 because i wanted it to be like i said with blazers i like them to be really oversized so in clothes i'm usually a size sort of 8 to 10 a little bit more of an 8 at the moment um but yeah i usually size up at least four or five sizes in blazers because i like them to kind of like just sit on my shoulders so this is just a plain black blazer it's got one little button on the front it feels like a really nice non-clingy material i love a blazer i think especially for this time of year a blazer is perfect i feel like it makes any outfit look that little bit more smarter i feel like it just instantly makes me feel just classy and nice. I love blazers with all black outfits. Like, oh my God, that is one of my favorite outfits. Blazer, high neck black top, 
leather look leggings, knee high boots. That is my favourite winter outfit. I've just been listening to N dubs and it's bringing back all the memories. Did anyone else used to be obsessed with N dubs? Like, I actually can't. I kind of like rediscovered them at the beginning of this week and it's been the only thing I've been listening to. <sighs> I used to love them so much and I think I'm now even more obsessed than I once was. Okay, this is the blazer on. Now, Zara. You are not going to try and tell me this is a size 16. This is so fitted. Like, I I kind of get a little bit annoyed when clothes shops do this because I think, like, what a way to make a girl feel. It's not a size 16. Look, it's literally so fitted. Like, I would say this feels like a size 10. I mean, I'm going to do a comparison here. I'm going to go get a size 16 Topshop blazer and show you how how oversized I hope for it to be. be. Completely negative. It is a nice blazer. For £30, it's a nice blazer. I did want it to be super oversized and I just feel like it hasn't really achieved that. Like, what size would I need to go up to for it to be oversized? I just think that's crazy. Like, if I'd got a size 10, it wouldn't have even gone over my arm. Right, so for an example, this is a size 16 Topshop blazer. Like, it's it's baggy, it's oversized, and I feel like you can tell that it's meant to be oversized. So this compared to the Zara one, which are the same sizes from two different shops, just a little bit crazy, I'm not gonna lie. So I remember seeing this item on Sarah Ashcroft, and as soon as I saw her wearing it, like most things, I was like, I need that immediately in my wardrobe. You guys are gonna love this so much. Princess Squad, I just love it so much. Anything Disney, I am a sucker for. Like, literally. I think I'd wear anything Disney. So I thought this would look so nice with maybe like a pair of blue denim jeans, a blazer, and then this tucked into the blue denim jeans. I just think it makes like quite a smart outfit a little bit more cash. Dress this up, dress it down, you could wear it to bed. $15.99, I got it in a size large because I wanted it to be oversized, but I'm probably gonna pair this with a pair of jeans and a blazer because I think that'll look like kind of edgy and like nice. Okay, I love this t-shirt so much. It's such a nice relaxed kind of fit. I love the arm length. It's just, it's really, really, really comfy. It's also a really nice length. I feel like you could wear this kind of on a dress down day if you wanted something just to throw on. Like you could tie this up and wear it with a pair of shorts. I think with these leggings, they actually look really, really nice. I think with maybe different bottoms, this would be such a cute outfit as you can see you can just see kind of like a little bit of disney if you are a disney lover like me and you want to wear it on the daily i feel like you need this t-shirt in your life every time i go into zara i can never find them and then on the website i was like oh my god finally i'm gonna get my hands on these beautiful knitted white joggers the material of these honestly feels so good like they're so heavy they feel thick they're soft i just think <sighs> If I could wear joggers every single day of my life, I would. I love them. Like, I love them so much. I think these are going to be absolutely perfect for autumn, winter. So, they're super plain. They've got one pocket on the back. How much were these? I think they're about £25. <laughs> $25.99. I got them in a size small um because I wanted these to be more of like a fitted jogger. I was thinking of wearing these maybe with like a white oversized jumper. You could wear it with a hoodie. You could even wear them with like a little crop like this and a cardigan or something. I think these are perfect for like cozy dinner day cinema. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited to wear these. I also love the cuff at the bottom. It's like quite big. Not everyone needs to pause this video and go and buy these joggers because they're freaking unreal they're unreal a great demonstration Gemma no one can actually see the joggers bear with joggers are so cozy they're so high-waisted like again look they're under the boob they've got a nice thick waistband they're cozy they're thick oh my god honestly nicest white joggers I've ever tried on now I need to turn around and check my bum doesn't look like an actual sack of potatoes because that can sometimes happen when wearing joggers um so i'm gonna do that live on camera the ultimate test oh okay Gemma actually has some form of bum going on that's rare usually looks like flat as a pancake in joggers like i'm not even joking honestly like 
is so flat in joggers it's a bit of a joke but i'm actually kind of happy with that love these joggers so cozy next i picked up another staple for me i live in leather look leggings in the colder months i just think they look so nice my favorite thing to wear them with is like a, a really huge black knitted oversized jumper i just think what a gorgeous outfit but then again you can also dress these up you can wear these with a blazer you can wear them with heels so i just think they're a really nice thing to have in your wardrobe now i got these in a size medium i feel like i should have got a small because they do look quite big so i might have to take these back and get a small but i love the zip detail now these are mid-rise so i'm going to try them on and kind of see how they are um but we all know I'm a high-waisted kind of girl. Like, I don't own anything mid-rise. So I'm interested to see how these fit. So the leather look leggings are actually really, really nice. Now, as to be expected, they are a little bit too big. On the leg, they fit like a dream. And then there's just this kind of, like, gape at the back. I hope you can see these okay. I've got slanted ceilings. So, like, there's nowhere for me to stand that you can actually see me properly full length. You can see, like, they're not high waist, but they're not low waist. They kind of sit on my belly button. And because I've got my belly button pierced, it's a little bit weird. Like, I feel like I want to just constantly pull them up. But I do really like the length. I like how they look on my legs. Like, they do feel really, really nice. Next, I picked up another pair of plain black leggings. But, oh... My god, I really love these. These are so thick. Like, I feel like if you want a nice pair of leggings, definitely go to Zara. I love anything, like a jegging or something like that, that looks like a trouser or jeans, but is actually leggings. Like, they're just so much more comfortable. Now, again, I got these in a medium. I feel like I'm going to need a small again. Um, I get a little bit worried with ordering stuff online. Like, I've got the mentality of I'd rather it be too big than too small especially on a try on clip like i want to be able to show you guys what it looks like on and if i can't get it over my body it's not really going to be a very good try on haul so again i might have changes for a small but we will see we will see these were 20 pounds which isn't a bad price at all for a really nice thick pair of leggings you can see these have got a hell of a lot of room in there um so, I mean, a lot of room for food babies, but I definitely needed a small. So, I'm actually going to go back and change these for a small because they are actually really, really comfortable. I just feel like if these fitted nicely, they would be unreal. Let me move the camera again so you can see the bottoms. So, really nice long length as well, and they are so thick. And they're also like... They almost feel a little bit like shapewear, which is really, really amazing. But would definitely recommend these leggings. They are just really thick, really nice. And I feel like you'll get so much wear out of them in the autumn winter. You can wear them with big jumpers. And the leggings as well, I feel like you could even wear them as a trouser because they're very, very thick. Like you haven't got to have something covering your bum in case they turn see-through. Like they're really, really good quality. But next up, we have another one of my favourite items. I am... I'm a sucker for a black oversized sweater. I love them so much, especially if they have a detailed sleeve, like, oh my gosh. They look like just an ordinary kind of like black sweater, but it has these gorgeous puff sleeves. I think when something has a little bit of detail like on the sleeve, it can just make it look so much more dressy. So I got this in a large. It was £19.99. Guys, I don't really know what's going on today. I don't know if I'm just having one of those days. You know when whatever you put on your body you don't like? Maybe I'm having one of those days, but I'm not... I thought, right, I would literally love this jumper so much. And I feel like on the model, on the website, the sleeves were, like, huge. And I was like, yes, massive sleeves, love that. I feel like on me they're kind of just like they're not really a statement sleeve they're just kind of like they look just like i've got really big arms which i'm not a fan of i'm not gonna lie maybe this would look better as a crop if i was to like tuck it under into my bra i'm not entirely sure let me know what you think in the comments below i think i might just be having one of those days where you know when you just try loads of things on and you just hate yourself <laughs> i know that's a really like negative thing to say but i'm gonna be real i feel like that might be my day today the day where i'm just like oh god oh i'm really i'm really i'm really sad i feel like i look like the trunchable or something in this like i just don't think it's cute oh the sun is rudely coming through my window and i'm trying to have a cozy moment in here sun so if you don't mind going back behind your cloud and bringing back the autumn sky that would be great okay next i picked up another oversized plain item can you believe it i know shock horror 
but I thought this was a little bit different. So this is a t-shirt, but it's in a sweater style. So it's almost like you've got your sweater and you've cut it into a t-shirt, and I love that. I literally love that. So it's got long drop sleeve arms. It's got a raw hem, which I love, and then the bottom is also a raw hem. This was £9.99, and they also had it in black and grey, which I'm not going to lie, I'm probably going to purchase as well, because... You can never have enough, if I haven't said that enough already. I feel like the ghost of bloody Christmas past or something. Like, it's just all a bit, like, ill-fitting. I don't think it's Zara. I'm not I'm not going to paint Zara in a bad picture. I think it's me. I feel like, I don't really know what I was expecting from this. I feel like it's just a basic tee. Like, I don't know why I was expecting the world. I just don't... I feel like this will be nice for, like, chill days. You just want to throw something on and it's nothing too special feel like it's nice but I do feel like it's a little bit like it's just like the length and everything I don't think it's very flattering like the length is a little bit weird the sleeves are a little bit like what even kind of I just don't know like the sun just cannot make its mind up whether it wants to be out or in out or in and it's just constantly like it's sunny no it's not it's sunny no it's not so every time I go into Zara I always 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 stock up on their perfume if you don't know about Zara perfume then you're missing out and you need to get some immediately so Zara have got like a huge range of perfumes that are literally so 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 cheap so they actually have little minis for your handbag and these are 3 dollars each I don't know about you but I hate taking like a big perfume out in my bag because a i spray way too much and b i just it's just a bit inconvenient isn't it but i love the idea of these i think these would also make brilliant presents like if you're doing someone a stocking or if you are like kind of like starting to get your christmas shopping these are fabulous zara also do their full size perfumes i'm going to open this one and actually show you this this is one of the new winter scents and it's called Femi Winter. Now I haven't actually smelt this one yet, but how gorgeous is this for £10? I think, again, Christmas presents. You know one of those Christmas presents that you don't really know the person very well? I don't know, like your brother's new girlfriend or someone like that. Someone you don't really know personally. I think Zara Perfume is a brilliant present. So let's actually smell this that is actually stunning it kind of reminds me of mark jacobs daisy like it's a very like sweet scent but it's also kind of warm and i think that's why it's part of the winter collection like it's a very a very warm sweet scent so my lovelies that is gonna go ahead and end my first ever zara haul on wednesday we've got a new episode of the gemma diaries and then i'm actually off to croatia on monday for a brunch trip with st moritz so that vlog is going to go live at the weekend so next weekend will be a croatia vlog and then we're going to get fully into like autumn vibe if you did enjoy this video please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and if you are new here please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and i will see you in wednesday's video bye oh, i can't do my usual like thing i can't reach the camera or you could just get up Gemma. bye <laughs> oh bless me bless bless you child bless you feel the quality the quality really excited to try i'm really really excited to wear this i feel like you need i feel like you need i feel like you need this t-shirt in your life you have to be your biggest fan and when things are really tough and they're really rough and nothing's working but there's something inside of you that says i just have to follow that because you don't know who you're going to